starting with the first step in the duct construction process, which is to determine the duct pressure classification. And I quote from Smakna, each duct system shall be constructed for the specific duct pressure classification shown on the contract drawings. Where no pressure classification are specified by the designer, the 1 inch water gauge or 250 pascal pressure classification is the basic compliance with these standards, regardless of the velocity in the duct, except when the duct is variable volume. All variable volume duct upstream of the VAV boxes should have 2 inch water gauge basis of compliance when the designer does not give a pressure classification. Following up from SMACNA, we have a small table showing the pressure classification. As you can see, it's divided into two main columns. The first column is duct pressure classification and the second column is the operating pressure. The second column is the input and the first column is the output. You go in this table with the second column, which is the operating pressure. You have an operating pressure in your system up to half inch, up to one inch, from one inch to two inch, from two inch to three inch, from three inch to four inch, from four to six, or from six to ten. Depending on the external static pressure you have of the fan in your system. For example, if I have external static pressure fan of 1.5 inch water gauge, I will go to the third row as my input which is over 1 inch up to 2 inch water gauge this will result an overall duct pressure classification of 2 inch or 500 pascal if I have a fan of a pressure classification of 3.25 inch I will go in this row from over 3 inch up to 4 inch and I will choose 1000 pascal or 4 inch as the duct operating pressure classification in my system and this is the first input in the table of the duct construction process which will allow you to bring further inputs including duct sheet metal thickness and other details.